Krishna here and this is not my usual video but uh, I am at a local shopping mall where there is this awesome Christmas decorations and I just couldn't help but film this. So I might be giving some updates, I just bought a few stuff and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to capture a little bit of uh, Christmas in my city and this is what it is. So I just need to buy a few stuff, pick up some stuff for my son and then ship them. And this is how it's looking. Ah, so beautiful. We don't have snow in our city of course and this is all fake. So this is how it is. So it's all in Christmas decorations. So this is looking beautiful guys. Absolutely wonderful. I will be posting more footage perhaps if <laughs> I feel comfortable enough, you know, shooting in the public place. So Hey everyone, so this is Pramita here and I'm back from my uh, trip to the mall and uh, <coughs> I bought some stuff I thought I'd share with you. Um, so these are mostly crafty stuff, you know, uh, so <laughs> nothing personal except this one. So I just bought this for my, you know, so that I can drink water regularly. Uh, you know, otherwise I tend to not drink much water. Anyways, uh, so let me show you what I have bought. And yeah, so the first things first, I bought these uh, paper packs. Uh, now these are available online. I think Dress My Craft uh, has, um, you know, come up. I think they are now, right now, they must be available in uh, Michaels also because they are selling in the US. So I don't know for sure, but these are pretty pastel-y kind of uh, papers and they're pretty thick. They are 240 GSM. I bought three packs of different, uh, you know, images. Uh, these are very suitable for making covers. I had shown about, you know, I had shown that uh, that vintage paper, vintage saga or something um, that I have in my stash. And these were like... Uh, these were pretty cheap, uh, I think about uh, five, five dollars, five to six dollars. So, um, so these are the watercolor pastels and there are um, uh, 12 designs, two sheets of each. So uh, some are stripes, half of it is, this is stripe and half of this is dotted. So basically that's these are the papers I hope you can see see these so these are very suitable for making journal covers because they are very thick and lucky colors you can you know use <coughs> all sorts of things over here so uh, these I bought from a craft store that we have in our mall, the one that I'll be showing, I have shown. And this is the other one, this is called Magnolias, that is called Dots and Stripes. So these papers are pretty, pretty good quality and pretty thick if you're making uh, mini albums and uh, you know stuff like that, they are very, very suitable but uh, they are not very suitable as journal pages although you can use them I have used them I, I think I made a journal out of these uh, one of the paper packs that I have this is pretty cool um, so this is another one page so two of the same pages these are dream catchers with floral elements thrown in you know and pretty good 
very sturdy this is lovely very springy kind of um, taper and you know when you buy paper online like we have to do because um, not all craft stores keep thick paper packs like this uh, so they charge a hefty shipping fee you know so it's better uh, that I buy paper packs uh, from local stores if they are available so this is how they are so this is the magnolias one I like this one also this one is also pretty so you can make these into beautiful journal covers um, and the last one is floral symphony and they also come with some journal cards you know you can uh, coordinate them in your journals if you want so it's like this and some washi strips also this is one there is this uh, girl at the corner which you can of course cut out and use them as a fussy cut element uh, since this they have come out with quite a few uh, beautiful paper packs and I really am eyeing those but I think I'll have to buy them online if I have to um, so this is a tealish kind of uh, wood grain sort of background this is another one so there are quite a few more than purpley uh, elements in this paper packs so this is another one beautiful this will work beautifully on a journal cover and um, this one too so maybe I'm going to incorporate these in my journals as covers for sure not maybe so here is another one this ha has a teal background as well as a purpley kind of background so these are the three paper packs I bought and then my ever favorite uh, glue sticks and sorry so these are these are one of my favorite glue sticks which are only available in this craft shop and these are pretty expensive like they are around ten dollars each a uh, dollar each you know a little more than a dollar so um, so these are some glue sticks and I bought one cheapo, you know, uh, paintbrush for acrylic colors and some acrylic, uh, no, there's some alcohol inks that I'll be using in, you know, my journals. One is in blue and, and another is in berry, berry dust. Uh, then I bought some PVA glue, white glue. Uh, and also some decoupage glue even though I hardly use a decoupage glue because I use the PVA glue you know 2 is to 1 in a water ratio uh, this is oh this is something interesting I bought this is a copper blaze metallic wax I can use this on you know the corners of the journals or somewhere just to give it a vintage more vintage kind of look and um, I thought I wanted a gold one but antique gold one but I didn't get that so I went for the copper glaze so I got that and I'm going to show you how it looks it's like this you know let me show you so it's like this and it's like a waxy uh, you know eyeshadow kind of uh, texture or maybe um, a creamish kind of texture some pencils I bought some cheap pencils and then I bought some envelopes okay so I also bought some flat pack pearls which I am going to use in my journals and also I bought a bunch of envelopes um, now these envelopes are really handy when we are making journals I mean uh, I plan on making a journal using this size 7, 5 by 7 so this is the this is the size and this is a smaller one we have 50 pieces in this and 25 in that and these are actually uh, some bigger envelopes which can be folded and made into journal covers so I am planning on making some journals out of these these are pretty big these are 10 by 8 these are 10 by 8 
and they have I think 10 yeah I think they have 10 pieces yeah 10 pieces and I, I got two of these and the last one that I got was a set of note cards on Jane Austen uh, this was really a, buy, a good buy you know and uh, I don't know I maybe it's just that I'm sometime in near future I'm going to make a journal on Jane Austen so um, so I got these note cards and they come with envelopes also and they each have a quote very interesting one uh, and uh, I think they have um, three varieties or two varieties uh, of note cards and that's okay because um, uh, they have three varieties sorry three varieties and so these are the three one three types um, happiness is of, in marriage is entirely a matter of chance and uh, ladies imagination is very rapid it jumps from admiration to love from love to matrimony in a moment <laughs> and uh, here she says you must allow me to tell tell you how ardently ad I admire and love you uh, so these are some of the note cards and I don't think okay so there's another type so um, a person who can write a long letter with ease cannot write ill okay so there are four types of note cards I really didn't look through this a lot because um, uh, the craft store was extremely crowded because today being Christmas uh, everybody was in there and here are the envelopes oh my god they are so lovely with I don't know if you can make out there's a slight picture of a house a mansion sort of thing uh, it's pretty very very pretty so maybe I'm going to make a journal in near future so this is the sign I'm going to hold this for a while and then work on the journal so they came in this note um, card box and that's this was a reduced price so I, I got this at a good deal so that's what I bought today and um, uh, bye everybody thank you for watching this and uh, we'll be back very soon